Hey guys, on um, my last video, you saw me bringing this uh, this trailer home and we were having some uh, heating hub issues. Um, there's a lot of videos out there on how to do your bearings. And Basically, they're all the same. Um, so I didn't make a video on that. What I wanted to mainly kind of make a video on is a little update on it and also the parts. Um, there's a lot of confusion. I went with a combination of parts because, well, availability is kind of a tough thing to find. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna show you those parts and basically um, this is what it now looks like afterwards. So I went ahead and once I took the hub off and apart, I uh, sanded it down, cleaned it up, painted it, and got a new cap there. That's another question that a lot of people will have, uh, which one to, to use. A little dust cover or grease cap. This is the number. Um, it's from Napa and it fits just perfect. This is the uh, rear seal. Um, got it from Napa as well. Uh, and it's an SKF. That's what, let's see. This is the outer bearing, 14125A. Uh, also got it at Napa, SKF. And then the rest I went with Timken, both the uh, races and the outer bearing. So the outer bearing was a 25580 Timken. And I believe these were the races, 25520 and 14276 from Timken. Actually, my son-in-law, uh, who gave me a place to be able to get these at. So uh, thank you, Dustin. Uh, anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you those parts. That's what re usually people have trouble with is what do I put in, what do I do? I've got an upcoming uh, video on the wiring, which I've actually started and it's gonna be on the video, but I ran into some issues. Um, you'll get to see that. But now onto the wheels. I did not want those run flat, heavy, although they're awesome, uh, beadlock type wheels. Found some uh, Dodge uh, has the eight bolt on uh, same pattern six and a half. These I think I believe up until even now 22 uh, 2022 uh, Dodge has the same bolt pattern. If you go GMC, I think you have to go to 99 and less uh, and earlier and uh, maybe the same or a little earlier for Ford. So Ford and GMC on the newer ones has changed the bolt pattern even whereas if you go with a Dodge wheel, you'll be set. I was a little worried about the um, width because some of them, when you buy used, you got to make sure it's not the seven and a half, but an eight because most people are going to run, you know, 35, 12 and a half or 37, 12 and a half tires. Um, I found this guy selling them um, on Facebook and he had these Toyo 40, 13 and a half by 17 tires on these wheels. So I knew that they would work. I knew these had to be the eights. And uh, of course, I slapped it on the trailer just for kicks, just to see. And it actually fits. This trailer is awesome. It can fit up to 40s, maybe even bigger. I'm going to get rid of these um, bead locked run flat wheels. The tires on them are uh, also a little bit worn down, although they still have some tread. Uh, they're getting old. And uh, also, I didn't want 16 and a half uh, wheels. Um, I want either 17 or 18 or something more common since I run 17s, as I said before. I'm gonna go ahead and, and stick with 17s. Basically, when I mentioned the beginning of the video that I changed, especially on the other side where it was getting hot, the bearings looked fine, the races looked fine. Um, couldn't figure out why it had gotten hot. I went ahead and changed them anyway, got the parts. I haven't done the other side yet. Um, if you want, let me know in the comments. I'll make a video about that. But uh, it turns out, I believe, since everything looks so good, there was a lot of dust in the... Uh, drum there in the hub i believe that the brakes were actually too tight These the brakes were getting hot making the whole hub hot and it wasn't the bearings after all so the bearings were good on it i'm actually keeping the old bearings cleaning them out sealing them and hey got spare parts now but uh that's something to look out for in these trailers so uh these trailers are, are pretty awesome i wanted to point out two other things that i may not have mentioned just a second ago one is I changed the tire without a jack, and that's kind of neat on these trailers. And the other was the weight. I did mention that I wanted to get rid of them and go to these Ram wheels because of the weight. So with the run flats, the wheels, and those 37s, I uh, weighed them out to the 35s on aftermarket wheels or, you know, stock wheels. Um, it was about a 50-pound difference per tire. So that's 100 pounds you're carrying or pulling uh, extra. Now for some, 
you know, the, the benefit of having those run flats, the benefit of having those 37s on 16 and a half, you know, military wheels, awesome. For but, me, the weight makes a huge difference, especially nowadays with gas prices. Let me show you real quick the uh, jack situation. Uh, jacking up a tire with no jack. So what you do is you take these uh, leveling legs here, which you can use to uh, level out your trailer with the uh, front jack. But if you put it up at a high level and then either jack the trailer down or up, it'll lift your tire. So you can change the tire out on this trailer with no jack. Pretty cool. Now you know the part numbers if you need any uh, bearings and races for this uh, trailer, M1101 and the M1102, pretty much the same trailer. Um, different weight capacities, different reasons, but it's essentially the same trailer. Um, now you know about the tires, you can fit up to 40s. Um, I've got 35s and um, that's uh, this is what it's gonna look like. It doesn't look half bad. So I don't think that looks bad at all. I had 35s, took off the 37s. It should pull easier. Hope this was informative. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and subscribe. If you're watching these videos, you know there's more information on here that might be useful to you. I'm gonna keep making videos on this trailer, plus some others, um, whatever comes up. I uh, haven't been camping as much. It's Although I have an AC now to go in my tent. You can watch that video. It's been just so hot and we've been busy. Got a new grandkid. Uh, it's been awesome, but uh, not enough time to run the roads. So I'm gonna be spending some time out here at home and at the same time, uh, fixing this trailer up to get the tent off my truck. And uh, maybe I can use my truck more around town and save a few uh, MPGs. Again, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Y'all take care.